and I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the part uh, view viewer sorry work plane tool to align and get the views accordingly so now if I press shift P sorry sh control P not shift P as such control P it'll give me the default top view but what if I wanted this to only show me this view so the, this this direction so what I've seen people doing is like they'll, they'll go on this mode they right click and go to default view on plane and then they'll try to figure out a few plane or anything as such but what else you can do is you could basically just get the work plane tool from here use the work plane tool set this work plane this little button here you just switch this to work plane hit enter and then when you do control P right why is this not set now yeah it it needs you to click on that and then no matter what you do when the moment you press control P it'll do that thing for you it'll, it'll basically set the view as a 2d view for you in in the direction of the work plane now this could even be like even be done by this using two points start here and I'm just gonna select on this one this one now when I do control P it'll keep it like this so you know this comes in very handy when you're detailing a few objects and you 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 want the view to align is in a certain way so that you can do the do the detailing in the, in the right one and what I typically do is once I'm done with the stuff I would just go back and pile to view plane and also at the moment I have only only one this here we'll just throw in a couple of crates maybe draw a wall here concrete panel okay there's a wall there and I'm just gonna do an do an opening here just about perpendicular and I'm just gonna keep it down by like 500 and Alright, that's the opening which looks a bit funky though, but I can I just use these handles to make them orthogonal. Now you see that their the dimensions may not match, so I'm just gonna click here. Right here. Now I can the moment I click control P control P, it'll make a top view. But what I want is it, it to get me a view on this direction so I can just go here now when you use Tecla a lot you'll end up having shortcuts so I have it set as W and then T so like you can go here settings keyboard shortcuts so you see mine it has W T so the moment I hit W and T on my keyboard it, it, it asks me to set up a work plane tool so I have it set here now I'm gonna go back and set this to work plane and you can see that this grid lines appearing up here and I can just get the vertical view so this 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 plane that I did it was a bit wrong so I can go back now and I what I typically do is just create a top plane polygon cut now I can keep on the o on orthogonal just click a few areas and that's it and now I can add another corner to this uh, let's make it orthogonal yep so they both are the same size alright now let's align with them the align them with the grid and I want this opening to be how much was it 2100 yep so that's my opening done and for instance, let, uh, let's put in some reinforcement in this, into this now. So, I and just for the sake of uh, detailing, I'm, I'm just going to draw a couple of bars. Bar group. Okay. So, from here to here. And it should. 
it's placing these bars here and what I'm gonna do is maybe make them minus 25 from the plane so that they go inside <laughs> and now if I wanted to place these bars and I wanted to see them in this plane the only thing I'd need to do is WT again set the work plane like this and control P and I can see it here now I can only the only thing I need to see is the Z coordinate is in the uh, in the perpendic perpendicular direction so I can just go here plane perpendicular move oops sorry not move probably copy would have been the right choice so again copy special mirror come on select it copy done so now I have I have these bars here what I need more is now I should probably provide in some uh, probably uh, I should have had some horizontal vertical ones as well so I might just go and before I do that I'm just gonna copy this from here so now my I need to look out for Y direction copy that and now I'm gonna select these and pull them down again that 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 is basically Y direction again now I have two options I can either draw these bars again or I can just you know what I'm gonna do this this is annoying me a lot now so I'm just gonna create a, a view of this assembly create view 3d view and now I don't care which view it selects because my view is controlled by this work plane so I'm gonna select the I can either set it to the default view which which for this is like this and I'm gonna select the view the, the work plane parallel to the view plane and uh, now I can see the objects in the right location change their lens now it's gonna be the X direction that's gonna be shortened up alright no they, they need to be within the concrete that wasn't needed but somehow you end up having now I if if I wanted to see in the top view I can then just go WT and then just set this top view go to this work plane set and control P and it will only show me the top view and I can basically just model the, the straight bars and then so I go with single bar, bar group probably so a bar group would be a better option select this draw a line and middle mouse button and then give it a direction which is a range sorry here to here and uh, you see the bars come up but these bars are coming on that side so I'm just gonna create a top view and select these bars so now 25 plus these bars are 12 millimeters so they'd be really like 14 millimeter thick so it first set at 25 so it comes on the top and then you add the, the 14 to it so which is 25 plus 14 which is 9 9 here and then 339 so they just come next to each other won't clash at all and what I can do is then I could just maybe copy special mirror because my work plane is on the top uh, Z coordinate is on the top so I can just get in this bar here as well now naturally you won't you won't be always reinforcing like this you would use components and all those stuff to just get get it a bit more automated uh, I was just doing this for the purpose of um, explanation and then you would just copy this up that is two that is two locations done and then as as it would go you can then just then copy them back over here as well yeah and basically now again Z coordinate and that looks like a panel like looks like the panel is fully reinforced I can just delete these extra bars I don't know where they came from so that is the reinforcement done for an instance if I were to look at this side I would just go over Windows T WT sorry and then press this coordinate here and then my work plane just aligns to whatever I wanted to and I can press Control V. So you don't. I mean, like I've seen people doing Control button top down 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 up 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 up. It doesn't make sense at all for me. 
uh, I find this to be very useful. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.